welcome back to Archaeologic. We are not actually filming at the Cooper Center today. We're filming at my place. What, you don't have eyewitness charts up on the walls? You should get some. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because this is probably going to be the blurriest and most badly lighted, mostly horrible everything video that we do. Because I'm not using a camera this time, and there is no Gabe, I'm filming this on my laptop! <laughs> so it's going to be... Well, it's not going to get worse than it is already, but it's it's going to be terrible. So bear with me today. But I do want to say congratulations to uh, Doug Shore for correctly identifying this as a horse bit. This is indeed a horse bit. It is seems to be some kind of a curb bit, um, and it's a historic artifact that comes from a ranch site. Now, horse bits have been around for a long time. Uh, the concept goes back to about 3000 BC, and you find uh, evidence, archaeological evidence, of bits made out of bone and antler and stone and leather, in addition to metal. Uh, the entire concept with a bit is that you actually place the interior of the bit into a horse's mouth, and uh, you're then able to apply pressure to make the horse go left or right, uh, to make it pull back. Uh, in other words, you're controlling it using its head um, and, and also the mouth. Now, to me, that sounds slightly terrible, but considering I'm a lot more familiar with horses like these than I am with actual horses, I'm going to reserve judgment, because I'm not a rider, so I can't tell you much about that. But I can tell you what this is doing here in Orange County. So metal bits like these started showing up in the 1700s, and they had a modern sort of look like this by the 1800s. Now, what was going on in California? you had uh, Spanish missionaries coming in in the 1700s in what is now known as the Mission Period, setting up a system of missions going across California. Um, interesting thing, they weren't just missionaries, they were also working the land. So you actually have, uh, by the height of the Mission Period, by the height of the missions, they had about 400,000 head of cattle and about 60,000 horses that they were working on the land. Um, what's interesting is that actually by the mid-1800s, when the missions decline, uh, you have an expansion of ranching, because all of this mission-controlled land that was under large parcels is suddenly broken up into smaller parcels for individual ranchos. Uh, so ranching has been a major part of the history of this region. Now, our artifact is more 20th century into maybe late 19th century than it is anything like the 18th century. Uh, but nonetheless, it's interesting to go back into the history and find out how a piece of technology evolved over time, uh, in terms of use and in terms of needs and you know this is an example of something that's been a concept for a really really long time and uh, the modern pieces are a lot more similar to this which means we've had an idea that's more or less stuck around for about 200 years which in itself is really cool but that about wraps it up for the horses I'm gonna gallop that off and we're ready to move on to next week's mystery artifact now because we're not at the Cooper Center I don't have it with me but we're going to have a picture of it up at the end of this episode. So make sure you look at that picture and put in your guesses for what you think it might be. And yes, I am a big fan of My Little Pony. And this, this is just what I thought would fit in frame. Uh, I, I like My Little Ponies. Um, anyway, remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and have a wonderful and archaeologic week. You are all magic.